Hello everyone, welcome back to PC Tech Help. And now the course that everyone has been emailing me about and bugging me to get up. Assembly language. Now most of you are have an end goal to this and that's getting into reverse engineering. Um, whether it be malware, software, for whatever reason. Um, before you can be able to do that, you're going to have to have a firm grounding and understanding of a semi language. Now I know it's boring, it's going to be difficult, especially at the beginning, because you're going to have to learn binary, hexadecimal, uh, hex hexadecimal arithmetic, binary arithmetic, such and such. You know, but you're going to have to go through it. It's plain and simple, that's all it is to it. All the, the basics, the foundation here is going to have to be second nature to you. You have to be able to know it without even thinking about it for the most part. The simple math and stuff at least. So when you're going through disassembled code, uh, the simple stuff you can uh, add and figure out on your own really quickly. That will greatly improve your speed in, uh, in uh, going through disassembled code and stuff. But first, you got to start on the ground floor. First, you're going to need to learn assembly. So let's get us an editor. There's plenty of editors out there to choose, and I'm impartial. You know, I could, I have all of them on my computer. But for teaching and, and uh, starting out and beginning courses and stuff, we're going to use Microsoft Assembler 32, which is in version 10 now. You can type in Google MASM 32, or you can just go. Uh, directly to their website, which is www.masm32.com. That'll bring you to here. You just click on the first link right there, download page. That'll take you to a site. Pick your country or a place that's closest to you and download the zip file, unzip it, and then just click the install. It's very simple. It's not a very large program and should install in no time. When you get it on your computer, it's going to look like this. And a couple of things to uh, get out of the way right now. We're not going to be using the editor right here right off the bat because, like I said, we're going to start with learning binary and learning hexadecimal and the hexadecimal arithmetic and stuff like that. Basically, we got to build a foundation first. And then uh, we'll get into the editor and actually writing out some uh, code. There will, we will have an end program uh, after, after doing this. And just like within PHP and C++ and everything, everyone starts out with a hello world uh, example. And same with assembler. When we start to learn assembler, the way when I first learned, we ended up with a, a small uh, basic program. Well, basic to, you know, some, not everyone. And that's just a disk editor where we'll be able to edit our own hard disk uh, sector by sector. And that's what we're going to be our end goal in this course is going to be. So start at the beginning, get all the boring stuff out of the way, all the binary and hexadecimal and arithmetic and all the basics, and you'll be glad you did when you get into intermediate and advanced, especially with your reverse engineering. One of the things I want to get out of the way is you're going to be able to pick up a lot of stuff going along in assembly that's going to help you out if you want to pick up other programs or other languages like Visual Studio or PHP, C, C++, pretty much any languages. And that's going to be programming style. In doing this, we're going to learn what's called modular design uh, once we get into actually building the program that we're going to end up with. And uh, learning stuff like that is going to make programming a whole lot easier pretty much no matter what language you're uh, programming in. Another thing is there is a difference between disassembled code and assembly language when we're writing a program here. Now we're using MASM32, uh, this is kind of like considered, I guess you could say a higher high level language. Uh, we're not going to be using 100% pure assembly language, but uh, that's because we're in the learning stages right now. Because don't want to get confused, but once you get into reverse engineering, you're going to find out that a lot of the assembly code that you're looking at is from uh, uh, compiler optimization. And so that's why you need a strong foundation because when you're going through those codes, you need to be able to separate what's actual code that belongs to the program and what is actually optimization by the pot compiler. Because a lot of, lot of new people and a lot of people new to 
uh, reverse engineering get hung up in that and get lost in code and just go in loops. Uh, one of the th differences uh, in pure uh, assembly language, let me zoom in up here to give you guys an, a somewhat of a small example. Okay, uh, uh, not that far. How about we do just that? How about right there? Okay, to give you guys an example, if we were to take, uh, let's just make up some code here. Push offset var2 push var1. Then you'd have a call to a function and then move return value and let's just say EAX. Now that's what your basic assembly is going to look like in raw form. Uh, right here, pretty much, this is a this is the identifying marks of a function. It always pushes its parameters onto the stack first, and then calls the function. And then right here, we're moving the value of ex into this value right here. Sometimes you won't even you won't have this at all, and it'll just be a return. Sometimes you'll have another move statement and all that that depends on whether you're using C++ or whether you're using actual C and we'll get into that uh, when we get further into when we actually get further into uh, losing my train of thought here assembly what this is going to look like in MASM32 is it does the same thing with the invoke command we're going to use invoke it's going to have the function on there the var value and you can see up here that we have var2 listed first and var1 and that has to do with the order that it throws it onto the stack but anyway you can see the difference I just wanted to get a, a quick sh uh, showing right there of the differences what it's going to look like we're doing here because a lot of you when we start doing assembly here a lot of you are used to seeing disassembled code and you're going to be saying you know that doesn't look like anything what I want to learn or you know that looks different from what I'm used to looking at and that's why because we're got two different versions of assembly that we're going to be dealing with disassembled code and actual assembling right now we're going to be starting out with just pure strictly assembly programming and and more of a higher format because it's a more shorthand and it's easier to get our hands around Further on in the course, we'll get down to the bare bones and working with the actual assembly. And then once we get started and everyone's comfortable with that, then we'll get into the actual uh, decompiling and working with OLEDebug and IDA and on with further with that. Right now, just make sure you get your editor, get it installed and everything, and then you'll be ready to go when we get reached to it. Like I said, the first session is going to be on binary code and hexadecimal. So I'll see you over there in that lesson.